What makes a spirit level great? And how do you make sure you pick a good one? In this film, we will walk you through every aspect of the spirit level, how it is constructed, and how to use it. We start with a quick look back on the history of leveling. No one knows how old spirit levels really are. However, it is known that the Romans used water-filled tanks as primitive spirit levels when building their famous aqueducts. To find a more modern tool, we need to travel to 1661, when the French scientist Melchizedek Tevno invented the modern spirit level, although it took to the beginning of the 18th century before the invention spread. For a long time, though, Many builders still preferred old bottles with water and used these as a sort of spirit level. Nowadays, spirit levels do not contain water, but alcohol or oil. The spirit level consists of a profile, a horizontal vial, one or two vertical vials, and end caps. The fluid-filled containers that give you a level reading are called vials. Different vials might appear similar at a casual glance, but the design and mounting of vials differ a lot between different brands, resulting in different accuracy and precision. To facilitate reading, extra fine vials feature a magnifying glass to make the bubble appear larger and rings that go all the way around for accurate readings from any position. How the vial is mounted in the profile determines how sensitive it is to temperature and shock. On the best spirit levels, the vials are fitted with a tensioning wedge, ultrasound welding, or brackets for maximum accuracy and sturdiness. The liquid and Hultaforce vials is a colored low viscosity oil mixture. This gives the bubble optimal freedom of movement it makes it easy to read. A luminescent reflector behind the vial helps in dim light conditions. The oil in Hultaforce vials is highly resistant to both ultraviolet light and fluctuations in temperature and gives a consistent bubble movement from minus 20 to 60 degrees Celsius. In case of shock, the temperature resistance also prevents bubbling. Static electricity can cause some spirit levels to give inaccurate readings. Therefore, Hultafor spirit levels feature anti-static vials. For craftsmen, different tasks call for different degrees of precision. This is why professionals often have more than one spirit level, to get different rates of vial sensitivity. The higher the sensitivity, the more precise the spirit level is. This means that the bubble of a more precise spirit level reacts more when one end of the spirit level is lifted. Higher and lower sensitivity is achieved by changing the shape of the vial. If we take a look at a vial, we can see that it has a barrel-shaped inner contour. Within the barrel shape, the air bubble searches for the highest point. Had the vial been a straight tube with no curve, it would have been impossible to level. The curve of the vial can be looked upon as a sector of a bigger circle. The radius of that circle determines how curved the vial is and therefore how sensitive it is. A larger radius means that the bubble can move more easily and reacts to smaller movements. Sensitivity is measured in millimeters per meter. The rate is based on a spirit level one meter long and how high one end of the level must be lifted for the bubble to move two millimeters. The standard for most spirit levels on the market is a sensitivity of 10 millimeters per meter, the equivalent of a 200 millimeter radius. Only Hultaforce also offers spirit levels five and 10 times more sensitive than standard. Mounting a door frame 
is a task that calls for a spirit level with higher sensitivity. For example, Hultifors MST-180 or Hultifors Labella-2000. Sensitivity sometimes wrongly gets mixed up with the value of tolerance. Manufacturing tolerance is the sum of all possible minor and microscopically small errors during production. Tolerance is thus the divergence from sensitivity. For the highest accuracy, the finest spirit levels from Holtefors feature block vials. Holtefors block vials have a defined inner contour and are symmetrical around both the X and Y axis. The tolerance of all vials used is calculated for both standard and reversed position. This allows for exact measuring, both when measuring atop a surface and from below. Remember, when measuring from below, not to hold the spirit in regular position. Instead, turn it upside down and measure with the bottom surface up since it is this surface the vials are calibrated against. At Hultiforce, all spirit levels are thoroughly checked before leaving the factory. To guarantee the accuracy of our spirit levels, our manufacturing process is certified in accordance with ISO 9001. Aluminum is a common profile material since it combines stiffness and durability with light weight. The strength of the spirit level is determined by the shape and the thickness of the profile, as well as the holes for the vials. Hultiforce offers different types of profiles, time glass profile for lightweight and easy grip, and box profile for extra strength. The strength of the profile is checked to see how it withstands large pressures from above and to the sides. The weight is a good indication of profile quality. Hultifor spirit levels all weigh more than 500 grams per meter. In the case of fall and shock, the profile is protected by high quality end caps. Easy to remove. and to put back on. Hultiforce also offers spirit levels with a plastic profile. A good choice for brick layers since the cement doesn't stick to the plastic. Even an excellent spirit level can be insufficient if it's too short. Therefore, Hultiforce offers spirit levels in many different lengths to fit every leveling situation. A spirit level is a sensitive measuring instrument and should be handled with care. Look for dents in the profile and clean it. Checking that your spirit level is correct is easy to do yourself. Measure against a flat level surface. Put the level on the surface Mark out the position and read the vial. Turn the spirit level 180 degrees and read the vial. If the spirit level is okay, the vial will show the same result both times. If not, it might be time to invest in a new one. To get a good spirit level, these are some features to look out for. Unbreakable block files with a luminescent reflector and magnifying lenses for high legibility in all light conditions. Unaffected by cold temperature or static electricity. Tolerance should be specified for leveling in both normal and inverted positions. The profile weight should be over 500 grams per meter to guarantee strength and look out for rubber end caps that will protect it. Last but not least, make sure you choose a spirit level with a sensitivity rate that suits your task at hand. Once you've found a spirit level that ticks in all the boxes, then we are pretty sure you are holding 
a Halteforce spirit level.